Dr. Greta are brought to you by the Ashley Clinic in Chanute, Kansas. Blue light, you know, that's the thing that's when it's in your bedroom and you're trying to sleep, it messes up your melatonin and doesn't allow you to get into the deep sleep areas. Well, someone's looked at blue light in the skin with damage to see if maybe the sunlight's putting out a bunch of blue light and that could be affecting you. And in fact, it would seem that there's a predisposed group of individuals that will get a deeper tanning because of blue light. It's called melasma. Does it lead to melanoma? Well, I couldn't find that anybody thought that it actually did. It just discolors in different areas, and some people don't like the discrepancy of the different colors. But how about blue light and what it can do to your child's skin? There are a lot of the cosmetic companies now that are putting protection or talking about protection against blue light in their products. And according to Dr. Carl Lawrence from The Conversation, that's the name of the the, uh, article, uh, there has not been a lot of regulation yet or understanding. And so when companies have these uh, claims, we're not absolutely sure it's quite the same as the claims against ultraviolet light. But does that mean that you shouldn't use it? Well, we don't know. Now, how about blue light in the environment anyway? Well, the sun puts out about 5% of ultraviolet lights, but 15% of what the sun puts out is this blue light. Now, it doesn't put, we don't have any clue how much orange light or green light or whether any of those have any other effect. And who knows, maybe we'll find that out. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. But at any rate, on your screens, this is the other thing, your TV screen or your computer screen, those put out about a thousand times less blue light than the sun. So the important thing is just keep it safe, wear the little hats for the kids, wear the sunscreen, and give that kid a hug. Stop those burns. I'm Dr. Greta.